Hi everyone, it's Maria from Sometimes Foodie, and I'm here with like a themed review day. So I don't know if you can tell from my shirt, but today is a Sailor Moon themed day, but went kind of like pigtails. I can't really do like Odongo, but I did pigtails. But I picked up a bunch of Sailor Moon chocolates from jlist.com, and I figured I would do like a quick unboxing kind of a video and kind of show you guys the packaging. I might try one or two maybe things, it depends on how long this video gets. But first I'll show you what I bought. So. I started out by buying one, one item, one item, and I started with this, which is a collector's tin. It's like a hard metal tin. It's filled with a few different chocolates. It has like, it looks like there might be like printing on some of the chocolates. Some of them are shaped like Luna and roses. You'll get to see this close up a little bit later, but I thought this was the one I wanted to get because it has the, like the retro kind of viz version of the Sailor Scouts, which I've been watching Crystal. I, maybe, maybe it's because I grew up with the other version, but... I much prefer this version. The cell animation and like the cell shading of this one is much more my style. So, this features the 1990s Viz kind of Sailor Scouts, and that's why I picked up this. But then I saw this little coupon code thing in the corner, and it said, "Buy three Sailor Moon chocolate items, or novelty items, or something, and get 10 or 15 percent off." I forget exactly what it was, but it suckered me in, and I got more. So, I got the tin. That's what I really wanted, and then they had this bigger box. Now this box isn't a collector, it's made, well that's, that's a collector, but this is made of cardboard. It's got the same chocolates that are offered in this tin, but it also has some buttery cookies and some little square chocolates. And I think they're chocolate caramels, the little squares, I'm not sure. The plus side of this box is first you get like the box with art on it, but since it's cardboard you get a metal tin, it looks kind of like your compact, although this doesn't look like any of the compacts I remember don't remember this one at all. Unless this is one from the manga that they're going to recreate in Crystal, this doesn't look recognizable to me. It's just kind of like crystal and star-themed. It has the Sailor Scouts on there. But either way, I figured might as well get that one too. And then last but not least, they had this little mini tin set. And I thought they were kind of bigger when I saw them on jlist.com. They said the measurements. I don't know why I thought they were going to be bigger, but I got a little Luna and a little Artemis tin. And they're filled with the same kind of little square. I think they're caramel chocolates as the tin in the big box, the big collector's box, like this one. But they were just too darn cute. But they're so small, like, there's my hand for, like, scale. They're so tiny. So, those are the three items I got. And on top of these Sailor Moon items, I picked up two more items from J-List, but I'll keep that for another time. For now, I'm going to zoom in, and you're going to get some close-up shots of the packaging and the chocolates inside, and maybe I'll try something. So, let's see what's inside all these tins and goodies. Alright, we have the first tin here. This is the first one I bought. Outside is made of metal. And then here are the different chocolates that are going to be inside and all the other information. I grabbed an exacto knife and I'm going to open it up, see what's inside. Okay, so it's opened up, and we'll take a look at what's inside. Lots of bubble wrap to keep this stuff safe. Okay. So we have several different chocolates here. From the looks of it on the website, I wasn't sure about these ones down here. So these ones here in the corners are actually printed paper images. I wasn't sure if these were edible images printed onto the chocolates themselves from the photographs that were used, but turns out they're actually printed paper images. And then the rest, this is another one with a paper image. This one I guess is actually an edible image. This one actually seems to be something on edible. I don't want to touch these too much, otherwise they're going to melt in my hands. So we have two little Lunas. 
We have a heart, we have a gem, the Millennium Silver Crystal. We have the rose, and we have some printed images. And then in my next tins, I have a little Luna and an Artemis. And they are filled with these little, I think there's some sort of chocolate caramel. A little hard to see, but I think it's like a chocolate caramel. So I'm going to open it up and we'll see what's inside them. Alright, so Luna and Artemis are free from their little plastic prison, and we'll see what's inside. I guess I'll go with Luna, Let's see what's inside Luna. Inside we have four different chocolates, individually wrapped, easy to share. And then I think Artemis is just filled with the same. Yep. Artemis has the same four chocolates. I thought they might have gone with a different color wrapper for each one, but... Seems like they stuck with the pink. The tins are really adorable though. And then last is my giant box. We have to zoom out for this one. So we have our giant box of Sailor Moon chocolates. Okay, so this one comes with cookies and a few different chocolates inside of the tin that look like the same ones as the Luna and Artemis, and then the same kind of chocolates that were in my square Sailor Moon tin. So I'm going to open this up and we'll see what's inside. I heard a couple people got theirs and their cookies were smashed. So, we'll see what state mine arrived in. We have more bubble wrap. Gotta make sure everything is safe. So underneath the bubble wrap we have our chocolates. I have another Luna, another crystal, another Sailor Moon wrapped one, another print, another rose, and another one with the edible printing on it. I have one broken cookie so far. Let's see, one, two. So looks like only one of my cookies arrived broken. That's pretty good. Oh, no, no, two. Two arrived broken. Well, it's still not that bad. Having two broken is not terrible. Maybe I'll try one of the broken ones. And then we have our tin. Filled with more of the same chocolates as the Luna and the Artemis. The back has this nice gold foil detailing, Sailor Moon. And let's see, I guess I'll give one of the cookies a try getting a little long. I'm going to do a lot of editing in this video, but I guess I'll try one of these cookies. This video is getting a little long, so I won't do all the chocolates here. I might do all the chocolates in a blog post, or I might do another tasting video, but this will just be for the packaging, I guess. So, I'll give this a little try. Ooh, it smells sweet and buttery. Kind of like those cookies you get in a tin that, uh, like those butter cookies that grandmas use as sewing kits, those big blue tins. And it's nice and crispy. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. Ooh, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. I'd say it's a little better than the ones that come in a sewing kit. I mean, it's not an amazing cookie. It's not, I, I wouldn't just order a box just of these Sailor Moon bow cookies, but it was really good. I'm, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised. So 
So all in all, the packaging is really why people are buying this. We're buying this because it's Sailor Moon. You can get chocolates, you can get cookies anywhere else, but where else are you going to get cookies and chocolates that look like this? And they're done, you have these cool collectible tins, and you're able to store all your goodies inside them. I don't even know what I'm going to keep inside these tins. I kind of just got wrapped up in the Sailor Moon nostalgia and bought a bunch of them anyway, but I figured I could always review them on the blog. It's my little Valentine's Day present to myself. Alright, I think that's all for now. I'm going to get to tasting all these and taking photos from my blog. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, be sure to subscribe so you can see more, and maybe I'll post another video trying each one of these chocolates. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye. In the name of the moon, I will punish you.